Good morning, everybody. And this is your DAX setups for this morning. Um, still very much a flag. And that is pretty much the story that we have. There's a flag here. And uh, if it is going to move to the downside, you want to see a break of some structure. Uh, and at the moment, you can see this is the closest bit of resistance at 18.278. But we closed above it. Now we've closed below it again. So you can see there to the left, quite a strong bit of resistance. And I just want to see if we can find if there was anything that it actually was bouncing off. I suppose it gets too high. Hindsight's always a perfect science, isn't it? So there's a pin bar. That's where the pin bars come in. I didn't quite get there. I just want to delete this noise. Now you can see there's a pin bar retracement, which is the next possible level. And that was at 18.364. And we kind of missed it. We didn't quite get to it. But nevertheless, moving averages have crossed over. They just flat and uh, we're running, or well, price is running in amongst the moving averages. Oscillators are looking bearish. As you can see, they've separated. One has crossed over. The other one's yet to cross over. Big engulfing bar here, but off nothing. So I'll take that with a bit of... Uh, a large dose of salt to be honest and um, I just want to put this last level in before we start getting down to the lower time frames and it's this fractal here at 18215 okay so that's the structure we have where price is at the moment and uh, below the 150 EMA moving averages have crossed over a bullish kind of crossover but flat um, oscillators Diversions, and that's bearish diversions. You can see high, higher, high, high, lower, high. So that's bearish diversions, but we're in amongst the moving averages. So we're ranging for all intents and purposes at the moment. And this uh, structure that we have here, we're going to need to break some some lows at the moment. And currently, it's a low of the week for this to really play out. And we'll have a look at this now in the hour. And what I'm referring to play out is the, the channel break or the flag break to the downside. So and you can see now when we zoom in, it looks doesn't really look like a bearish bit of structure. It just looks like pure confusion above and below the moving averages each and every day. I mean, look at yesterday. Gap up, massive move up, then gap down, massive move down. And uh, oscillators now lining up to the downside for a move. And we're just forming a bit of a... A bull flag here now. Anyway, um, I'm sitting on the couch, to be honest. I don't think I want to get involved in this at the moment. Uh, if it does start dropping below the lows of yesterday, and that is 18.119, that would change my tune a bit, and then I would start setting up for the shorts. And that short is going to be fairly decent because it should be the same as this move so that's around 600 and uh, 60 points odd but as I say we need to get moving below the structure before we commit to that um, and then to the upside what we're looking for is breaks above the current high of the week or preferably 18.364 and uh, build a structure there and then get moving that would get me looking for structure to the upside so for now very difficult to try and jump in on this. There's you know, hindsight being the perfect science here. Uh, buyers did come in at the open with a big engulfing bar here. So there was a 58 point gain for a 60 point, oh, sorry, 58 point rest, a 60 point gain. But really messy. And as I said yesterday, I was sitting on the side, not really looking for this. And it's the same story today, I'm afraid. I'm really not interested in trying to second guess what they are doing. You know, they're either building a flag for a break to the downside, um, or alternatively, what they're doing is they're starting to build a channel for a move to the upside. So those are the only two options. Obviously, it's either up or down. But we need to break through some highs here, much higher up 
before we get confirmation that we have a proper trend reversal. So at the moment, this is not a, a trend reversal of the downside. It's looking like it's, there's uh, merit for that, but it's not in play in my books. It's, uh, we need the confirmation, and we're not really rejecting any structure for that move. And for as long as we stay in amongst the moving averages, I'm very skeptical of a move in either, any direction. So that's kind of my view. I am sitting on the side. There are gaps to the upside and uh, there are gaps to the downside. There's a couple of gaps to the downside here. And on the previous day, there's a big gap. As you can see there, we're just pretty close to this level of 18,119. So yeah, your guess is as good as mine this morning, I'm afraid. So uh, I think I'll be sitting on the sides. Uh, we'll wait and see what happens. Hope it helps you somewhat, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers for now.